This is Black Hills Fox Sports. Hello, everybody. The Sturgis softball team has had to play the first part of the season without Zabri Bush, but the Scoopers look to get a lift from her in the second half of the season. Andrew Lynn has more with our Extreme Foundation Athlete of the Week. The high school softball season is almost halfway over, and Sturgis senior Zabri Bush has had to play a single pitch this season. Well, I expect to go out with a bang. Hopefully. Bush suffered a knee injury just weeks before the season started. It's been hard for her to watch from the dugout, but it's about the only thing she can do besides rehabbing for a possible return. Having a good attitude helps a lot with keeping in the game and keeping my teammates motivated, so it's not easy to have a bad attitude. <laughs> Bush is the lone senior on the Scoopers roster. The others include four eighth graders and a couple of handfuls of freshmen through juniors. With little to no experience, she's appreciated watching this team develop. We do have a lot of younger kids this year, and it's exciting to see where our program is going. And I think the hardest part for me has just not been being able to be out there with them, but showing up to games, showing up to practices, trying to do whatever I can be to still be a leader on the team. But even with the frustration and her competitive, she still kind of she pushes that down, and she's still like, hey, I'm going to be here for the team. I'm going to do what I can for the team. Being a leader is in Zabri's DNA. A lot of it is second nature for her, given her position. The other half comes with the territory of being one of a few upperclassmen. Nonetheless, it's all natural for her, and she's embraced it. Being a shortstop, I mean, that's kind of the leader of the field, and I kind of knew my expectations coming into the season were going to be pretty high. She's one that if you need her to play outfield, she'll play outfield. You know, if she needs to bat leadoff, she'll bat leadoff. If she, you know, five, six holes, she'll bat there. She kind of does it all, which is nice to have that flexibility. Bush expects to get back out on the field in the second half of the season. But even if she doesn't, you can still expect her to be a special part of the Scooper softball team. Reporting in Sturgis, I'm Andrew Land. The Stephen softball team returns to the Diamond tomorrow night as it hosts Sioux Falls O'Gorman. The Raiders picked up an impressive 15-3 victory over Spearfish yesterday and are 3-3 on the season. After dropping their first two games of the season, the Knights have rattled off three consecutive victories. First pitch is slated for 6 o'clock tomorrow night out at the Parkview Complex. The Stephen softball team will also be in action Friday when it hosts Yankton. The Custer track and field meet that was scheduled for tomorrow has been postponed due to the expected chilly weather. No makeup date has been announced of yet. Now on Friday, area class B track and field teams will have a chance to show off their skills at the wall invite. Well, there's reason to celebrate over at the uh, Spearfish High School today as four Spartans have signed on with top colleges. Brooklyn Fleming will swim at the Division I level with South Dakota State. Sadie Gates will play soccer for Mount Marty. Dawson Wood signed on the dotted line to play football for Dickinson State. Brayley Grubb will rodeo at Gillette College. The Black Hill State rodeo team continues to deliver a strong season. The Yellow Jacket men finished second at last weekend's Jackrabbit Stampede. That's South Dakota State. The ladies came in third place. Austin Madison won the men's all-around title, while Emma Ohm claimed the women's all-around championships. So the Black Hill State rodeo team doing some impressive things. They host the Will Lantis Stampede coming up not this weekend, but the following weekend. Well, that's a look at sports. We'll be right back. Athlete of the Week, brought to you by Extreme Foundation Repair.